First, we are following some breaking news out of Indiana tonight. At least three people are dead, 39 homes damaged after a massive explosion that happened in the middle of a neighborhood. And it was all caught on surveillance camera, camera from a nearby business, and that's what you see on your screen. Uh, this is the scene there tonight. A live look right now as first responders are combing through the destruction and also looking for survivors. They say there could be more victims that they have not found yet. And they're also trying to make sure that other homes do not collapse from damage. Correspondent Sloan Glass is joining us with the very latest on the situation in Evansville tonight. Sloan. Marnie, a house explosion in Indiana damaging 39 homes. Right now, we know three people are dead, but the fire department says there could be other victims that are unaccounted for. Calling it thunder would be like an understatement that shook the entire building and even uh, uh, bo buckled in one of the windows as well. In Evansville, Indiana, just before 1 p.m., fire officials were called. Three minutes later, they were at the blast. Fire Chief Mike Connolly on the scene. We were trying to find the cause. We don't know the cause. And speaking on those who could be missing. Uh, with 39 homes, we don't have a roster of those people who uh, are in those homes, so we don't know yet. One witness talked about the pressure that could be felt from the blast. An uh, explosion like that, I mean, <laughs> it was bad. My daughter's house is probably three or four hundred feet away, and it blew in the back, back end of her house. Our station in Evansville spoke with a roofer who described the scene. One house is totally gone, and then everything around it is totally pretty well destroyed as well. And then I started to do a house-to-house a -house search with the police officer. Right now, the cause of the explosion is still being investigated. With 39 homes destroyed, Evansville residents want to know what shook their community. Marnie. All right, Sloan, thank you. Let's give you another live picture outside the scene there in Evansville tonight as investigators uh, are on the spot looking for, first of all, what caused this explosion, and more importantly, if there are, in fact, any more uh, survivors inside these homes. It happened a couple of hours ago, and you can see some of these homes have just blown, been blown to pieces. Uh, Sloan is actually headed to Evansville tonight. She'll be there live for our morning show tomorrow. We're going to continue to follow this very closely as investigators release more information throughout the night. But again, three people dead, 39 homes damaged in Evansville, Indiana tonight. A community devastated and a lot of questions at this hour will be on it for you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.